What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel again, guys. You tuned into the Red and Black Election. I'm Carlos, your host. I got my co-host here, my little guy, Trip. So today, guys, we're just hanging out, just chilling, man, just kind of vibing, really. Um, we're gonna pull out the golf cart, take a cruise around the neighborhood. We may stop by the uh, Honeycomb Hideout, check on the cars, um, but uh, really just chilling, man, just uh, enjoying this beautiful Sunday. The weather's nice. Um, say what's up to my main man, Trip. Say what's up, Trip. Say, say what's up, YouTube. Say, what's up, YouTube? <laughs> All right, guys. Do me a favor, guys. You know the drill. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell also next to the subscribe button. And, of course, share this video and tell a friend about the channel, guys. All right, guys. So we got, uh, <clears throat> we got to pull back. We already moved uh, the Audi. So we just got to pull back the, uh, the C10 here so we can get in there and get the uh the golf cart out uh, as you can see here it's kind of tucked in here nice and neat uh there's the uh there's the lamp there's the lambo trip lambo <coughs> haven't taken that out in a while we need to get that out being some corners in it but um we're gonna get the golf cart out of here you getting it ready trip you, you getting the golf cart ready huh here, there you go. Stay right there, okay? okay. Daddy, Daddy, gonna go move the truck so we can uh, so we can pull the golf cart out, okay? Kiss butt. Booyah! High five. Boom! Down low. Yeah. All right. So let's get this. <clears throat> let's get this thing moved here so we can bend a few corners. Stay right there, okay? Don't move. Thing sounds good. Just gonna pull this back a little bit so we can uh, give have room to pull out the golf cart. The 10 15 feet should do it. Y'all say what's up to the Benzo? This thing's for sale, by the way. Anybody interested? Asking 15k for best offer. Good car, man. Pretty low mileage. Still runs good. Let me know. I need to have a detail. Car's clean though, man. Shit, look at that. <clears throat> Interior is A1. Soft closed doors. Trip, what you doing, man? You said what? What you doing? You ready? You ready? Switch on. Alright. <clears throat> Here, scoot over. Scoot over this way. Alright. That's that look, that's that reverse siren. The beep. So for those of you who haven't seen the, the red and black collection golf cart, this is this is her in all her glory. Nothing fancy. Just red golf cart with black wheels. We got it lifted. Put some off-road tires on it, custom wheels. Uh, I mean, it's you know, it's clean. It's um, it's a it's an electric easy go golf cart. We put a, a TV, little TV in it. You know what I mean to watch movies and stuff. It's got a uh, it's got a light a light bar in the front, uh, and then it's got a, a sound bar here mounted to the back so we can play music. Uh, cart also has red underglow lighting. Uh, you really can't see it in the daylight, but let's see. So yeah, it's got red underglow lighting. The lights up under the roof, and then also under the cart as well, so you can really see it at nighttime. Um, but yeah, that's uh, 
That's the, the golf cart, man. It's a it's a three seater, not a, not a four seater. And a little little small seat back there for somebody, you know, some kid or something like that. But it's you know, it's not much, but it's mine, right? It's just and uh, I enjoy riding it around the neighborhood and stuff. We don't live in a golf cart, golf course, um, but I enjoy riding it around the neighborhood and stuff. You know, it's it's cool for running down and checking mail and uh, quick quick stops to like the corner store. You know, and then I, and I live close enough to the Honeycomb Hideout where I can take it to the Honeycomb Hideout and go check on the cars. So yeah, that's my little my little my little golf cart trip. Say what's up. All right, guys. Well, we're gonna hop on this thing and we're gonna take a take a little cruise. Uh, let's see. Let me get this thing going here. Yeah, hey, that's that that little whistling noise. That's that little siren you hear. It uh basically lets you know when you're in reverse, so you don't so you don't run over anybody. And they. All right. Let's see. Let's get this thing on the road here. Oh. Full charge too, boy. It's, it's it's quick. Got my helper with me. Pop, uh, pop. What's up? You all right? You good? You good? You straight? I don't know if an electric golf cart is considered an a motorized vehicle, but I mean, I guess it does have an electric motor. I guess technically it is a considered motor, motorized, but I would think that's more like for gas, gas powered engines, which I think. <clears throat> Y'all think we breaking the rules? I don't think so. What you think, Trip? You think we breaking the rules? You think we breaking the rules? So anyways, we just out here cruising, man. Just chilling like a villain. Chilling like a villain. Say chilling like a villain. Say chilling like a villain. Chilling like a villain. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah, so. Oh, man. It's a bumpy ride right here, man. That's one thing I will say about this golf cart. It, it's, it's not, if you're not on uh, level surface, it's, it's not the most comfortable ride. I mean, it's, this, this golf cart is lifted too, so that might be part of the reason, but uh, I don't know if it's any different if you're on a, like a regular stock height golf cart, but on this, on this lifted golf, lifted setup, it's not, it's not a very comfortable ride. I mean, you, you literally feel every single bump. Uh, and as you can hear, it, it's kind of noisy too. You know, it's different stuff squeaking and whatnot. But uh, anyways, I got these little bot this bayou back here through, through the neighborhood. I mean, there's not much water in it, but you know, it's probably a good, good maybe foot of water. See right here, this spot right here. So this, this part of the water right here, I think this is somewhat deep. I think this is probably a good foot and a half to two feet of water right here. Yeah. Back to the trail. So, uh, let's see here. Across the street here. Oh, look, there's another sign. No motorized vehicle. 
<laughs> oh, you gotta love that. Just cruising here. What you say, Papa? What you say? I didn't hear you. What'd you say? Huh? What? What? Ah, okay. Which thing? Work. What happened? Swing. Work. Swing. Work. Work. Oh yeah, the swings. Okay, yeah, the playground. Okay. We're not gonna go to the playground today. We just ride and through, okay? We're gonna come back later, okay? Alright? We're, we're gonna come back later. So that's uh <coughs> that's one of our one of the playgrounds. Uh, that's our uh our little clubhouse and our swimming swimming pool. You know, we, we come and swim at least, I don't know, three, four times a year. We don't really go often, but yeah. inside the gate. Oh, the water. Yeah. <coughs> There's the pool. See the pool? See the pool? Tennis court. I don't think I've ever been on that tennis court. I don't play tennis, so I really wouldn't have a reason to, but anyways. Alright guys. Back to the trails. It's a nice morning though, man. All you can hear is the crickets and the cicadas chirping. Nobody really out here on the trails today. Uh, it's actually, you know, it's it's warm, but there's actually a, 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 a cool breeze, so it's not so bad. You know, fortunately we got we got a canopy over us. We got this this roof on this car car, so we're not getting direct sunlight. So that's cool. But uh, but yeah, but it's it feels pretty good out here. Stop sign. Musician 
see what we gonna get. I don't know about y'all, man, but I like. I'm a juice man. I'm, I mean, I like sodas too, but I kind of prefer juices over soda. But uh, I like I like that uh, I like that Snapple Apple man. Uh, what y'all what y'all what y'all think about the Snapple Apple? Let me know in, let me know in the comments. What's what's your favorite juice that you like? I'm a Snapple Apple guy. I like anything that's like strawberry lemonade stuff like that. Trip, what you gonna get, man? What you gonna get? Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Oh, look, there it is. There's Snapple. There's a Snapple apple. There, look. There. There's the snap, Snapple apple. That's what we need. Right there. Snapple apple. Good stuff right there. I'll do a trip. I'll do a trip, a little one. Let's see. I think that's. Yep. Yep, Snapple apple. Or a little one. Parked out there. All right, we got our libations, guys. We uh, <clears throat> now we can get get rehydrated and uh, get ourselves on the road here. But uh, I tell you, man, I always run into somebody I know. Uh, that was a cat I I knew from uh from college. Pulled up. He he doesn't even live over here on this side of town. He just happened to be uh, just passing through. Really had had to stop at the gas station. I'll take a little shortcut back here behind building here. Over here, man. That's where I get all my small equipment prepared. Cypress, Cypress mowers. Yeah. They do a pretty good job. All Probably noticed the car is whipping by. That's because we're we're riding alongside a kind of a busy a busy uh, thoroughfare. It's not too far from from the house, but uh, I mean we're safe though. We're on we're up on the uh, well it doesn't have a sidewalk, but we're up on this. Uh, grassy area that's off off the road but uh but yeah it's kind of cool having you know having the the back cave and the honeycomb hideout so close to the house that i can just hop on my golf cart and just you know shoot over to the spot but it's definitely convenient and my and my next house <clears throat> won't be won't be any uh, honeycomb hideout. At least we won't have to drive to a honeycomb hideout. Honeycomb hideout will be on the same property as the house. So, activity up here today. Folks up here at the start. Honeycomb hideout.
picking up the little nice little little toy trailer. Uh, uh, what do you call it? I think it's a, I think it's like a toy trailer. Toy toy hauler. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Looks like it's aluminum too. It's probably light. deep that water is but <coughs> it's probably I don't know a couple feet deep maybe it's, it's I don't think it's real deep but it's probably it's probably a couple feet deep at least maybe ducks quack 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 yeah I, I would say probably two or three feet deep We're here at the Honeycomb Hideout. Uh, didn't really expect to be here very long. Just uh, really just came to just check on the place. Uh, why does that car it looks like it's leaning? Is that me? Not my trip. So here's the uh, here's the other C10. This is this is uh, the black box. It's just I call it sometimes. Uh, Twenty six three piece auto couture wheels. There's a the '96 Impala, also known as the ZL1 Impala. Uh, custom painted, custom custom hood. 87 SS Monte Carlo. Yep, red and black. This is the twin companion to the 96 Impala. The twins, as you can see, very similar design scheme. Yeah, this car has been kind of on ice for a little bit. We're waiting on parts, and I hate to keep saying the same old thing but i mean it really is true Wait, waiting on parts stuff on back order man but anyways enough about that i don't really want to talk about it because i'm a little irritated the car should have been ready months ago but because of covid and the issues we're dealing with the parts here let me here let's get the juice let's get the juice and of course you guys all know about the, the 71 442 uh this seems to be one of the crowd favorites. The one that everybody likes the most. <clears throat> Shout out Chevy Boys of Houston, my car club. <clears throat> Red and black collection. <clears throat> look us up on YouTube, look us up on Instagram, Facebook. <clears throat> Follow, comment, like, share, subscribe. You know the routine. <clears throat> Anyways. Baby Snapple, Daddy Snapple. Good stuff. Oh, man. But anyways, guys, yeah, like I was saying, man, it's, uh, I'm, I'm a, little, a little upset about that car, about the money Carlo not being ready, man. It's supposed to be ready by this time, but uh, um, they say patience is a virtue. So I'm going to stay patient and hope that uh, we can get – Get it going sooner rather than later. What's up, Papa? Huh? What? You want some more juice? You want some juice? Alright, get your juice.
That's refreshing. Ah. Say ah. Papa. Trip. Say ah. Ah. Oh. oh man. So anyways, guys. Like I was saying, um, over here at the Honeycomb Hideout, um, man, I, I gotta admit, man, I've, I've, I've been really kind of procrastinating on a few things, man. I should have, um, I mean, I don't know, man, just, I've been having so much going on, but this Impala, man, shit, I should, I should have been driving this car more lately. I mean, I, um, I semi kind of got it back on the road and and pulled it out and got it washed probably about two three months ago, but there's still some stuff I need to finish on that car to get it back to where I feel comfortable with pulling it out and taking it to shows and stuff. Uh, so for right now, she's just kind of on ice, but you can see I got I got my rear wheels off. Front, front wheels are on, but the rear wheels are off. I was doing some uh, modifications to the suspension and some adjustments, um, and we also changed some, uh, we changed the barrels on the rear wheels to give us a, a better offset and fitment for the rear, because we were having some rubbing issues. So um, we, cha we changed that, and I just, I haven't, I, ha I got the wheels back, I got the wheels repainted, and I, ha I got them back and I just haven't uh, put the, um, haven't put the tires back on them yet. Let's see, see that's, that's uh, the rims right there. There's the rims, the, re the rear wheels. Um, just, I mean, there's, there's the, the, one of the rear wheels for the Monte Carlo. And here's the front wheels for the Monte Carlo. I just gotta put them on, man. man <clears throat> Let me know in the comments, man, if y'all if y'all been feeling that same situation with the procrastination, man, on your projects. Uh, I know I can't be the only one. Um, let me know what uh, what y'all you know what y'all think in the comments, man. If y'all been dealing with the same thing, but you got you know you got multiple projects going on, different stuff that you need to do. You know, phone calls you need to make, parts you need to order, uh, you know, stuff you need to drop off at shops and take take the shops so they can start on on the projects and the work that you need done. But you just don't have the motivation or you just, you know what I mean? You just, uh, I don't know, man. You just stuck at a standstill. Let me know in the comments if you, if you, if you feel what I'm, what I'm talking about or if you have dealt with the same thing or you're going through the same thing right now, man. Because, I, you know, uh, at one point I was, like, really, really excited about, you know, the Monte Carlo, the ZL1 Monte Carlo. And I was, like, really mashing the gas on it. And then I just hit a brick wall, man. I think part of it was COVID and then... Some of it was other, some of it was other stuff, you know, um, but yeah, I just I've been kind of at a, at a standstill, you know, um, you know, even even with the back ordered parts, there's still stuff that I could be doing while I'm waiting on those parts that I haven't been doing that I should I should have been doing while I had this you know the time to do it, but I just haven't, man. But anyways, check out that interior on the Cuddy. I don't know. I don't normally keep the top down like that when it's in storage, because you know, that's how you you can mess up your top like that. Um, keeping that, you know, keeping that top down like that. I usually close the top whenever it's in storage or when I park it, because uh, you end up like creasing creasing the top like that. All right, guys. So me and my uh, my co-host here, Trip, we've uh, we've shown you guys around. We've uh, took you on a quick tour of the Honeycomb Hideout, and uh, and now it's time for us to wrap up this video man and head on back to the house guys but we appreciate you stopping by and hanging out with us and uh just spending a little bit of time with us man so like i said earlier guys if you haven't already please do me a favor hit that subscribe button if you, you like the, the content uh if you're new to the channel <clears throat> like the video comment below and let me know what you think about the content guys and, and of course share this video with a friend TCP!